Hello, hello, Gaming Noodle here. Welcome to another episode of Odden Sphere. On Gwendolyn's chapter, let's see what Meryl has to say. Has he not returned yet? No, not yet. It seems like he's the only thing on your mind lately. N not at all. But he does seem to be rather late. If you didn't know they're talking about Oswald. You're so irresponsible. You didn't say where you went. I was nervous. If anything happened to you, he'd be very distressed. That dwarf is actually Brom. Princess, and he is like a famed blacksmith There's in the world of Arion. He's the one that makes the ciphers, I think. Like King Odin goes to the nether realm and steals like jewels from the Queen of the Undead. And then when he brings them back here, uh, Brom goes ahead and makes weapons out of them. Let me just go ahead and sell some stuff. Mm, let's see. What can I buy? Ooh, large bag. 75 gold. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 75 gold and I only have 73. So gonna need two extra coins. Let's see, what can I sell here? No, I need that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that'll do. There we go. One material. And I have exactly enough. And these large bags are perfect. These are what I need to aim to get, like, a full supply of large bags. I just have about enough for one. And that's amazing. But... I'm now broke, and I still need to buy like, what, three more of those large bags to be fully equipped. What's this portal? It's new. Ooh, Puka Village! Wow, look at this place, all goldeny and glowy. This is actually underground. This is a secret world where the Pukas live. Seafood salad, fresh shrimp and healthy veggies. Mmm, seafood salad, lovely. It's always fresh from the pook of the kitchen. Sorry. This is a very nice looking place. I'd like to live here. It looks very fun. And look, food rains from the sky. Well, it's not really a sky because this is subterranean, so... Eating meals at restaurants provides you with an easier... Yeah, that's true. It's actually probably the best way to get your HP up in this game now. When this opens up to you, I would suggest you go out, you collect all of the ingredients you need. Hey, you want some advice? Did you know that pukas make food that's much better than fruits and Yes. Thank you. There's a cafe across the way. I'll go check it out. If you bring them a recipe and the ingredients, they'll cook it. Alright. Take a look at the fresh ingredients that I just picked up this No, morning. thank you. Even though you're very enthusiastic about it. <laughs> cafe, A. Eh? Let's have a look, shall we? Rabbit Cafe. The music is already good. Welcome. Oh, you have a new recipe. I do. I'll add it to our menu. Okay. What can I get you today? Uh, what do you have? It looks like I, you don't have anything because these are all faded out. Oh, there's one, and I don't have the ingredients, so. Yeah, I can't really get anything right now. Thank you very much. Still, nice little cafe. Very warm and cozy. Let's go across and see what's in here. Puka Kitchen. <laughs> now this is nice. <laughs> Look at this pots and pans, shrimp. Lobster. What can I, get you I love how everything moves very gently. It makes the whole scene alive. Oh, I can make this seafood salad because, yeah, it, the game gave us the ingredients earlier. Pleasure. Well, that was quick. Bon appetit! Mmm, looks nice. Oh, 
Oh, jumped right to 15 from 13. See, that was some massive XP gain for our HP. A couple of those and we could really boost our HP, but I won't be doing that right now because I don't have the ingredients or the money. As much as I'd like to stuff my fat face. Although Gwendolyn's not very fat. I think we've seen all we need to see. Let's uh, move on with the story. But there you have it. Puka Village. Very nice. Very nice and cozy. And I can get to it any time from my house. Oh, new area. We've never been here before. Please tell me, where is he gone? He went to the Fire Kingdom to fulfill a promise he made to the king there. He's been gone for some time now. Something may have happened. Another king. King of the Fire Kingdom. To fulfill a promise? What is happening in the Fire Kingdom? My heart aches with each passing day. I cannot bear it. I cannot wait like this. Well then let's go, let's do it, let's find Oswald. Wherever he may be. Inferno King's Shrine. Ooh, hello. The Great King Onyx is just ahead. Very nice. <clears throat> Welcome, Princess of Ragnanavan. It has been a while, your majesty. Also, we've met before. You are as beautiful as ever. It is always a pleasure to welcome you to our kingdom. This way, I guess that makes sense. Allow us to entertain you. They're part of, you know, your the majesty, nations of Arium. I have come here seeking answers. I'm sure they must have met at some point before. I've heard that my husband Oswald has come to this land. Are you aware of this? As much as I would like to say that I am not, I cannot lie in the face of such <laughs> duty. He is certainly here. He is fighting for me. Fighting? Yes, against a dragon that is terrorizing our country. Some say that this dragon is Leventhan, the one mentioned in the prophecies concerning the world's end. Our fire and our swords have had no effect on this newborn dragon. I thought his Belder Reaver may have some effect. A baby dragon. But since I have heard no news, I assume it was useless as well. Why Oswald? You may not know this, but King Odin had already oh, are you serious? to me. The more I learn about King Odin, the more I don't like him. But your father went back on his word, and instead gave you to that tortured soul. In compensation for letting the issue drop quietly, Oswald made me a promise. He vowed to fight for his life on my behalf, whenever mm. I ask. You know, King Odin just sounds like an unscrupulous opportunist. He may die. He may even already be dead. Uh oh. I can void our agreement and save him if you will be my bride. It's up to you, Gwendolyn. As long as you become mine. Inferno King, you are no different than the men back home. I am not an object. You tell him. What? Get her, Vulcans! Capture her, but don't harm her! Ooh, that is cool. I really like that design. Right, let's go find Oswald. In the blazing caverns of Vulcanon. Yeah, I'm too slow at reading. Oh, that's a good start. Get dizzied right off the bat because I hit two of those flame things. 
I mean, it's basically, you know, when we were in the snowy areas, we had the little icicles that froze us. Well, we're in the hot place, and now the hot things burn us. So just like there was a warmer for the cold places, you know, that potion that you could make? There is actually a cooler that can uh, that can help in hot places like this. Ooh, S rank. Yeah. Let's see what we get in this chest of wonders. Lots of uh, seeds. Material. Right, I'll pick up the alchemy late last. Alright, let's see what it is. Cooler. Cools the body and prevents HP loss from fire and heat. You see? Let's see, we can make one. Lovely. I think we can plant something with this... Uh... Was that enough phosons? It should have been, I hope. Keep growing, keep growing! You stop growing. Gonna have to waste one of these, I guess. But that's gonna be so much extra phosons that will be released. Hmm. We'll, we'll see. It's growing very slowly, though. Come on, come on. Can't really see much without a map as well. So I guess we can take this time to again enjoy the new scenery. We've not been in these uh, volcano parts before. Looks very nice, very cavernous. Nice multi-layered. Give me the grape. Let's see. Nom nom nom. Just what the doctor ordered. There we go. Let's move on now. Let's see what they throw at us. Uh, let me see here. Where's the cooler? There's the cooler. We got some bombs. Well, they look like bombs. Like bob bombs. Was that it? Well, that was quick. Hey. Okay, what's this? Variants. Ooh, we got a map. Hooray. Let's see here. We got some shops. Two shops. Uh, two boss fights and the main boss. Uh, two sub boss fights, sorry. We'll make our way across the quickest route possible. Now that we're in a sub boss fight, go ahead and uh, have a cooler. So you don't take that extra damage when it's not really necessary to. Oh, we get to fight one of the ladies. She said, he said not to hurt me, yet she's still attacking me when I'm at low health. I don't know if it's wise to go against the orders of your king. But what is he anyway? Like, it's just he, he's the only guy and like the rest are just females. He has like a a huge harem of fire girls that wear next to nothing and yet all he wants is Gwendolyn I guess it's true you know you're never happy with what you got it's never enough you always want what you can't get life lessons kids try and learn from it be happy with what you got hell I'd be happy with what he's got that's for damn sure God, this is almost over. Pretty easy avoiding those attacks. Got those. What are those uh, salamanders? Now that was a good counter attack. What is this? Got a potion, a red potion in that. Almost dead. I didn't want to have to do this, but you followed me, not the other way around. I'm just looking for Oswald. 
should be enough to grow this lovely seed. And I'll just take the rest for my cipher. Level 18. Can't complain. Grade. What's my grade? B. Nah. And why is there no... Oh, I got a sheep seed. Sheep plant. That's good. Egg on toast. Grab a bite to go. How lovely. A friendly restaurant. Co Puka kitchen. Cooper? I don't want to get sued. Uh, looks like I shouldn't have taken those phosons because I needed it to grow the last bits of that plant. That was my bad. What a waste. What a waste. I feel bad. Makes next attack inflict too slow. Whatever. Let me just drink my Kool-Aid. Kill these uh, salamanders. These charmanders. Ooh, what's in the box? One seed. One mulberry seed. How useless. Let's see what I can grow. Yeah, let's get some sheep. Can't go wrong with sheep. Oh no, come on. Oh, come on. That wasn't enough phosons. Well, I got an A. More seeds. Mmm. Come on, this is ridiculous. Let me see what I've got here. We need to get this plant. I need to grow. I need these sheep. Maybe if I make a cooler, yeah. But like, if I make it like really the material like maybe plus ten or something, and then I make a cooler, maybe then I can release like a lot of phosons, and it should be more than enough to finish that plant. I guess these seeds came became useful. Not so useless after all. We've got three material. Let's make that four. Nah, let's make that five. I have plenty of them anyway, I don't really need them. Might as well use them to level up my uh, material. Another muggle seed. Mm. Grapes, yeah, I don't really need grapes. I think those are lower. One of the lower foods, I'm not sure. else? How much more can I do? No, I don't know if I want to use an apple seeds. It's pretty high. Let me just see if there's anything else. No. It did not turn into a cooler. Wow, it just went to plus nine. Oh, crap. And that makes it plus 10. That didn't even make a warmer. I think because the material was too high. Oh god, what am I going to do? Uh, plus 11. Um, yeah. Plus 12. That's not what I needed. Ooh, sorbet. Pleasantly chilled and tangy. What am I gonna do? Uh I need you. You cute little vegetable. Chili, whatever you are. Do I have a zero material? Yes I do. This should definitely work. No, I need the chili. Where is it? There it is. Yep, two phosons. Every little helps. Oh, thank goodness that was enough. That was just enough to make it grow. Whew. I thought I was going to have to leave this level while wasting a seed of sheep. Sheeplings. Dude. 
two lamb chops, you can't go wrong with that really. Die already, come on. Alright, we are on to the next boss battle. But my health is almost too much, too low, so... Let's have a few of the food we just grew. And we're almost leveling up our HP as well, the bars almost to, all the way to the left. Be careful with this fight if you're playing along with me. This second boss, sub-boss fight is actually a bit more... It's the same fight, but it just seems a bit more difficult than the first one. Perhaps she hurts for more, or like, I mean she hurts you for more, or perhaps she just does her attacks more frequently. But just be a bit careful, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Be a bit careful. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Just make sure that she doesn't hit you too many times. Like now, that was perfect. That was perfectly showing you what not to do. When she does hit, oh yeah, she uh, summons a lot of those, so be careful. But basically, um, when she hits you, you have a good chance of being caught on fire, which just ticks for more damage, and that's never good. But if you do find yourself being caught on fire, just run. If you run around and you move about a lot, it actually gets rid of that status effect faster so it minimizes the damage and when she swings like that don't hit her because you'll just catch on fire like I did I'm almost dead again let me see here lamb 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 yum 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 she's under half HP so not bad and I get caught on fire again because before I attacked I actually touched one of those flamey things but yeah, she's. Re I really like these bosses. She's really cool. I like the character design. It's very, very good looking. Although, you know, I do like the caverns of this place, the, the volcano caverns. But like, you've once you've seen it once, you've kind of seen it all. And I guess that could be said for most of the levels. But like, I don't know. It's a bit more gloomy in here than it is on some of the other levels. The other levels I do enjoy a lot more to look at. Not to say that this one is boring, but, you know. I'm sorry, but you're dead. You're dead, miss. You and your little bombling. Almost. The chili popped out. I didn't even mean for it to. Oh, gotta be careful of those. That attack is pretty nasty. If it hits you, it knocks you down. Oh, yes. What, did she turn, in, turn into charcoal? Alright, we need to use these foes on for some food, I think. I'm alright, my, my uh, cipher level seems adequate. And I immediately regret doing that. I immediately regret doing that. Oh, thank goodness it was enough. It was enough to grow the fruit. We've got an egg. Those eggs are good. You can make some nice omelettes at the Puka Village. Always good to get eggs. In fact, I would suggest you farm eggs and make a ton of omelettes and then eat all of the omelettes and your HP will skyrocket. Oh, yes, it will. Alright, we've got the last level before we uh, encounter the boss fight, so let's make it a good one by getting smacked about a lot. Okay, I'm almost dead. You do not want to stand near those things because they do explode once they die and it will hurt you. That can't be the, f the only wave though, I don't trust it. Might as well uh, plant the seed because there's a lot of... Uh, Bosons that are in the air from all those dead bombs. Cyclone will do some good. Not bad, not bad. But uh, my HP is very low. Wow. It just kind of sneaks up on you. 
And I'm not using a cooler as well for this level. So my HP is ticking by itself as well. Yikes. Let me just get some distance on them in case they interrupt me while I'm trying to eat. By the way, there's a tip. When you eat, you know if you have a food that has like two bites or three bites, when you use the food the first time and it eats once, if you just press the button to eat once, it will only eat once and then put the food away and then you can eat it again at a later time. If you want to eat the full fruit, keep hitting the button, the button that you press to eat it, and she won't just take one bite, she'll take additional bites. Fun fact. And there we go, we got some fruit. We've got another one growing, but, uh, oh, I seem to run out of photons again. Again. And I get a B. Kick me when I'm down, why don't you? Alright, I think I know what I'm going to do here. Ooh, ice cream. Ice cream, yay. One spoonful and you'll be hooked. The boss battle is next. Let me just... No, you know what? I'm going to try and see if I can get that plant. I mean, I can't just leave it. Maybe I can figure a way out. Let's see what's in my uh, inventory. Bones, bangles, fire spirits. Can I make something with this? Caratier. Habanero, I'm calling it. Oh, and again, the two phosons were enough to make the food. Perfect. You see, never give up. I almost left this level without getting that last bit of food. Make sure you're all healed up. We've got a boss fight now. Oh, there's Oswald. And a baby dragon with a crown on its head. And it's still wearing the eggshell that it was born out of. Now that's interesting. And cute. This is useless. It seems the Queen of the Dead has reduced my sword's power. My body is like lead. To be defeated by a newborn dragon like this. Right, he's known as a dragon slayer. And he's being smacked about by a baby. And why is he so weak? I, can't go I guess his power is connected to the sword that he's wielding, and he said that the Queen of the Underworld has reduced its power, so I guess she really does have claim to his life. That is not good for Oswald. Uh, that's very cute, but very pathetic. This fight is actually very easy. It's probably one of the easiest fights in the game, as far as boss fights go. Look, he's going to charge you if you're not in front of him. Very easy to jump over him when he does that, and uh, he sits around for a while after he realizes he hasn't hit anything. And it's so long, the pause, where he just does nothing, you can just start smacking away at him. Just try not to face him. Yep, yeah, easy. Jump over. He's gonna just sit there for a while thinking, hmm. That isn't that isn't good. And his health goes down pretty at a pretty decent rate. You can also attack him when he's not doing that and you have a good chance to stun him because he collapses again on the floor. There's a lot of things he does where he just stops attacking for a long while. Very easy fight. So it makes you wonder that Oswald is really, I mean, he's lost, I don't know how much of his power if he's having trouble with something like this. The only problem with this fight is that your power meter runs out way too quick, because you're constantly finding opportunities to attack. Oh, that was a new one, but too bad I was not in front of him. And again, with the very small little beam of lava, or whatever it is. See? Knocked him down. But that is supposed to be the dragon. The end dragon, Leventhan, that is supposed to end the whole world. Oh, I missed! That would have been a good good chunk of HP. 
And he stuns himself again. He does look very cute though. But yeah, this is supposed to be the dragon that is going to kill everyone and destroy everything. It's going to just completely destroy the lands. Whoa, where did that come from? You did not do that before. A baby dragon should not be spewing beams of lava that big. That was crazy. And I don't know what he's doing right now, but on my uh, minimap, he's got some massive atomic bomb going off right there. Yeah, he's starting to seem a little more dangerous now, but just be, just, uh, be very careful and you shouldn't get hit. But he's doing massive breaths now. Breath attacks. And if you're in front of him, there's no real way to dodge that. Oh, he's back to a small ones again. That's more fitting for a baby dragon, not the other ones. The other ones, whoa. This, this dragon is something to be feared if the prophecies are true. And we've read a few passages so far from the prophecy in a previous episode. It didn't sound very fun, if I'm honest. Very dark and gloomy. His injuries are grave. They must be attended to immediately. See what his pride has cost him. Leave him be. You have been banished for disgracing your country, but you are still astonishing. <laughs> astonishing. To be able to defeat the dragon from the prophecies, you intrigue me even more. Oswald has fought for you, and the dragon has been defeated. Yep. We are it's kind of funny how he likes us so much and tries to get in our pants. Why? Why him? That man has been selected by the Queen of the Dead. He will eventually die as her servant. His very existence is torment. Leave that doom soul and take my. He does paint a very grim picture. Your Majesty, if you persist in insulting my husband, my spear will take your head. And she's kind of switched up a bit. She's really. Do not want your life extinguished. Get out of she's standing by her man now. <laughs> How intense. Just like a flame. How intense. He sounds like Zap Brannigan. <laughs> I shall pay my respects to such <laughs> That's who he reminds me of. The promise has been kept. Let us leave it. He's kind of like a buffoon, but he's kind of charming as well. Remember, in a way. You are the one that stokes the embers of my heart. <laughs> Right, that ends it. I think I'm going to leave it here. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you don't want to miss any more chapters. And I'll see you next time.